Oh, hi. Okay, all right, that's enough. <laughs> um, great, <laughs> we're gonna set up camp. <laughs> What's up friends? I am Miranda. This is Miranda in the wild and today I am gearing up to go bikepacking for the first time. A lot of people have asked if I've ever been bikepacking before. The answer is no, I'm not a cyclist. <laughs> I'm nervous and so I'm having a nervous moment here. This is my show, gosh darn. So Cannondale challenged me to go bikepacking with an electric bike. So this is the Topstone electric bike. It is what's called a class three electric bike, which means that it does like pedal assist. This is like a bike that like someone who knows what they're doing rides. So the plan is to ride 90 miles on the Olympic Discovery Trail, which covers 134 miles across the entire Olympic Peninsula. This is supposed to be a really beautiful trail here in the Pacific Northwest, and I'm psyched to get to experience so much of it in such a short amount of time. And I'm nervous. <laughs> I think my butt will probably hurt. I think my butt is definitely gonna hurt. Don't. You your helmet too, probably. Oh yeah. I just wanted to wear it because I felt official. So I have two paneers which go on this back cargo rack. In one of them, I put my sleeping bag, my whole sleep system, and my first aid kit. I also have my poop kit on the outside here. And then in my other paneer, I put all of my cooking stuff, a couple of my like dinner and food items, my bear and critter bag is in here. I've got an extra water bottle on the side. I've got my camp shoes in here. Boom. So this is a frame bag and I put a bunch of food in here. This goes right here on my handlebars. I just now realized that that's gonna block the light on my bike. I have like sunscreen, butt butter, sorry, body glide. <laughs> trail mix. This is a, a hack that somebody gave me to uh, put trail mix in a Nalgene. If you wanna stop and just like open it up and put some in your hand, you don't have to like mess with packaging. You can just like eat it while you're still like standing on your bike. My bike gloves are in here. Um, oh, and a yo-yo. Really? Yeah. I lost my whittling knife, so I had to pick up another hobby. <laughs> yeah! I'm gonna finish packing up all of this stuff and then I will see you tomorrow for our first day of bike packing. I'm incredibly nervous, very scared. I think I'm ready. <laughs> at the Camp Creek Trailhead. I loaded up the bike this morning. Um, it's pretty heavy, but I feel pretty good about it. I feel like the bike looks more legit than I am. I'm actually like the most nervous about even just like getting on the bike and starting to move forward because I've never ridden a bike with this much weight on the back. Today, my ride is 30 miles. The first section is gonna take me to Lake Crescent and Devil's Punch Bowl, which is supposed to be really beautiful. And then from there, it is on to the alpaca farm where I'm spending the night just past Port Angeles. Let's bike pack. All right, I'm ready. We got a drone shot happening to start this. Thoughts? I feel like a real video person now. <laughs> There's a drone here. My feet already hurt. <laughs> it's nervous, nervous foot pain. And we're going. Woohoo! Let's ride. Woo. Oh look, this is us. Olympic Discovery Trail pathway to the Pacific. So we are headed on to Devil's Punch Bowl, which is kind of in the middle on the north side of Lake Crescent. It's supposed to be really beautiful. It's about an 18 mile ride, and I think it's mostly flat. So I'm gonna try to not use the electric part of this bike. I'm psyched, it should be a beautiful ride. That's so pretty. I love this. <laughs> my jacket off. Boom, then I'm off. Ah, this bike is heavy. Zoom, zoom. Oh wow, we're like right along a river. Oh, I love all these curves. Oh, our first hill. I think I'm gonna kick this bike into electric mode and see if it can help me out a little bit. Okay, here we go. Oh my gosh. Sweet relief. <laughs> Dang, this is gonna spoil all other bikes for me. Thank you so much, electric bike. Ah, 
wow, this hill is so long. Oh my gosh. Ah, yeah, downhill now. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my gosh. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. Oh my gosh. This is the best. We have now ridden five miles, and I think where we are crossing is the Elwha River. And this is amazing. We came down this huge, long hill, and then we got to this. Amazing view! First electric bike impressions are that this thing is rad. I'm realizing that because I have an electric bike and because I'm able to use that little pedal assist when I need it, it's making this whole thing more enjoyable. You know, it's like you get to a hill and I'm carrying all of this additional on my bike that if I was using my normal bike, I would have such a hard time with. So as someone who's not a very experienced cyclist, this is just like the coolest. Papa wheelie! Woo! Should be two Lake Crescent pretty soon. And Devil's Punch Bowl is right in the center of the Crescent on the north side. So that's where we're gonna stop and have lunch. All right, I'm ready, y'all. See you at the lake. Ah! Ah! Sorry, I'm good. A buggy. Oh, I love all these signs, makes it so easy. Wow. Ah, Devil's Punch Bowl. We just got to Devil's Punch Bowl. I think we're gonna hike up this trail to the Overlook. I have like definite bike legs right now. Oh, wow. Oh, cool. So this is Crescent Lake. It's so beautiful. Look at how blue this water is. Kayaking. Wow, this is so cool. I wonder how deep it is. We just finished lunch. We've got like another 16 or so miles until we get to the campground. We're gonna continue through this dark tunnel. Woo, here we go. Whoa, what in the hell? Woo, -wee. Halloween! Dang, that was very dark. Woo, my legs are sore. Stopping. Okay. And we're now turning left here towards Highway 12, and we have, I think, our most elevation gain coming up here before we get to the highway. And from there, we're basically taking the highway on into Port Angeles. I am definitely gonna be in turbo mode for most of this. Port Angeles along the uh, coast on the north side of the peninsula. This is Hollywood Beach behind me. We've come like 20, almost 35 miles now, I think. We just have a few more miles to get to camp and the rest of our ride is all along the coast. I'll see you at camp. <laughs> okay. Man, look at that beach. This is so beautiful. Is that Canada? Alpacas. I think we're here. This is a hip camp that we found. Where we're staying, it looks like we're just gonna set up our tents in the middle of an alpaca farm. There's so many. <gasps> Hi, friend. Hello. Oh my gosh, they're all coming over. Hi. Oh my gosh, they're so fuzzy. Excuse me. Pardon me. <laughs> Hi. I am friend, not foe. All right, y'all, I'm just gonna scoot past you. We're gonna get you some snacks soon. 
Oh, hi. Okay, all right, that's enough. <laughs> um, great, <laughs> we're gonna set up camp. <laughs> that's my poop kit, you don't want that. <laughs> so great. I'm gonna feed them some apples. Come and get your apples, alpacas. Here you go, you want an apple? I'm not gonna hold it for you while you eat it. You gotta take it yourself, you're a grown up. All right, more apples. <laughs> that was the funniest <laughs> ever. <laughs> tent time. I'm gonna set my tent up right here. It's where there's the least alpaca poop. I took my helmet off. <laughs> I think it's just like fossilized alpaca poop. Like that's why it's so hard. <gasps> Woo! Oh, hi. That's my glove. You can't have that bike glove. All right, thanks. All right. I have no sense of organization with bikepacking, I realize. Just like yard sailed all over here. That's because I'm new. Wow, what a cool day. <laughs> I'm gonna boil some water for my dinner tonight. It's actually a lot later than I was expecting it to be. As you can see, our sun has already set and it's 7.30. I don't feel sore right now, but my legs are definitely a little tired. So I'm imagining that tomorrow is gonna be um, kind of rough. <laughs> this is probably the strangest place that I've ever camped before, but I'm, I'm pretty excited about it. And now I just get to do the fun easy part, which is setting up and sleeping at camp. Ah! <laughs> That was a big flame, did you see that? There is bike packing specific gear, like tents with poles that fit between the handlebars or different you know, hydration systems. But I am just using all of my backpacking stuff. I mean, I'm wearing my hiking pants, you know? I'm wearing my approach shoes. My same like camp shoes that I use for backpacking are my camp shoes here. And I think that that's a really cool thing to get to do is go on a trip like this with gear that I already have and have like a totally new experience. You see my face? The one thing that I brought that was really different for this trip was that I brought a lantern, which I never bring backpacking, but I brought one for bikepacking. <laughs> Let's see if we can make it brighter. So I am in my tent. It is 9.30. I am exhausted from biking today. Wound up doing, I think around 40 miles, which was a lot more than I was expecting. But my legs feel pretty good. I did give my calves a little massage. Right now, this just feels like backpacking because I'm just in my tent. Except that I have all of these bike bags as well. I'm gonna get some sleep and I will see you all in the morning. Good night. I am uh, curious to see how sore my legs are. <laughs> well, I'm going to get myself out of bed, make some coffee, make some breakfast. Pretty psyched for day two of bikepacking. Let's go! Because I miscalculated miles yesterday, I have fewer miles to do today. For breakfast today, I'm having cream of wheat with kiwi, matcha powder, and strawberries. There were a few things that I changed this morning now that I've like had a day of experience bikepacking. Like having the bags packed the way that I did was, was pretty good. I just realized that I want easier access to a couple of things and have extra space to de-layer or store stuff that I didn't have yesterday. I realized it's a lot easier to pack the bike when it's lying on the ground since I don't have a kickstand. Although I think tonight I probably won't even take the panniers off. I'll just pull stuff out of them. to squim. The butt soreness is so real. So this is where we are, a little blue dot. That's where we camped. And we can actually, if you look straight out, you can actually see this spit that's coming out on the map. And then the trail basically cuts in from the coast along the river, and then it rides along the highway. Um, and then in about 20-ish miles, we will get to squim. Oh, the beach! I want to skip a rock. Ah! <gasps> There's a sea anemone! Look! Oh my god, there's so many! 
<laughs> I love them so much. I got one. All right, you ready? Let's go. I got beautiful. Ah! Sorry. <laughs> Blackberries, we're stopping. Woo -wee. Blackberries! Oh, yeah! Oh, look at this. I love blackberries so much. Mm. <laughs> that one was perfect. Oh my gosh, look at this bridge! Uh, woo, steep hill! Oh my gosh! Ah, oh my god, okay. Woo oh god, oh no! Oh gosh, e bike, help! Help me! Help! <laughs> control. <laughs> oh yeah! <laughs> Turbo mode. <sighs> it is the perfect day. Hi there. This section today is so beautiful. <laughs> Welcome to Squim. Woohoo! So we just got to Squim. It's kind of late, it's like 3.15, so a little bit later lunch than expected. But that whole section was the best! And I had such a good time and I learned so much. I just had to tell somebody. <laughs> I think I like bikepacking better than backpacking now, today. Okay, we're gonna eat some food. I will see you after lunch. has been the best. <laughs> we have made it to Squim Bay State Park, which is where we are camping for the night. I'm feeling very happy, very content. It's only 5.30, so I got in a lot earlier today than I did yesterday, uh, which is awesome. Let's go to camp. <laughs> it's really graceful. <laughs> jelly, 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 jelly. My legs feel like jellyfish. <sighs> the real best part, getting at camp, is beer. It is hard <laughs> to yo-yo while sitting. I mean, I guess that kind of works. Honestly, today was like the most fun that I have had in a really long time. I actually feel really good. Like my butt is definitely sore. I'm really glad that I brought chamois butter. The battery is, it still has three bars. So I've only used up two bars of the battery in the past two days. I was pretty concerned that I would run into an issue where I would, the battery be dead. I would have a huge hill to climb and I wouldn't physically be able to ride this bike without that pedal assist. All it has turned into is that I just have it there 
in case I need it. I've definitely enjoyed my first time bikepacking more than I enjoyed my first time backpacking. It's been far less of a suffer fest. I have a whole other day left. I'm feeling a little sentimental, so sorry if this is corny. It's just, I'm having feelings about it. I like it. <laughs> It is Friday uh, and it is the last day of my bikepacking trip. So I've already had some breakfast this morning. I hung out down by the water. This is my second cup of coffee today and I probably didn't need it, but I had it anyway. <laughs> I slept pretty well last night, but I definitely was feeling sore this morning. Like my back really hurt and my legs are a little bit sore. So I'm kind of glad that this is the last day and it should be a fairly flat easy day. It should be about 20 miles into Port Townsend and there are a couple really cool breweries in Port Townsend so I'm hoping to stop and get a beer with the crew and just kind of celebrate my first bike packing trip. Cool! I'm gonna pack this stuff up! On your left. Uh, our trail appears to be under construction. Let's see, this says closed to all trail users. Gosh. So maybe that means we just ride on the 101, which is a highway? Ugh. Mm. Okay, all right. Or we just just be like these people and ignore the sign. Let me take a look at the website. It looks like it's only three miles. So I think we're gonna ride along the highway to pick up the trail again, <laughs> which is like the one thing I actively wanted to avoid, but uh, that's okay, that's all right. I only wanted to avoid it because I'm scared. All right, to the highway. Freaky deaky. After this, I guess we'll go after. Nope. We'll go after this car. section it was like a mile on the highway and every time a huge truck went by I swear I could feel my bike like moving and it was awful and I hated it and I'm really glad to be back on this trail ah it made me sweaty Wee! I just peed my pants from fear a little bit blackberries back into farmland This is different. I was like, isn't this cool? Yeah, it's what? It's a mud flap. I you stand on it, you think it's a wow. It's a mud flap. What? <laughs> Oh my gosh, we're almost done. <laughs>
I actually feel kind of sad about it. This has just been such an awesome three days and it feels like it's ending a little too quickly. But I'm also looking forward to reaching the end of this trail. Five miles means we'll be done in no time. Home stretch. Home stretch. Ooh, a tunnel. Woo <laughs> oh, what is that smell? Gosh, this is so pretty. Blackberries! So many blackberries! Yum, 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 yum. We're almost done! Yay! We did it! <laughs> that was fun. I want to do it again. Let's go back. Sweet! We made it! We just got to a brewing company that's about a block off of the trail. Oh no! Guys, I put my mug down on a bug and it's dead. So after three days and 90 miles, I finished my first ever bikepacking trip and it went really well. I can like honestly say that it was way more fun than I expected it to be. And while I was expecting certain aspects of it to be a lot harder than they were, there were also things that I thought would be really easy that turned out to still be challenging. Because I was using an electric bike, I sort of expected the biking part of it to be like a complete breeze. And I just thought like that would not be challenging at all. And as it turned out, it was still really physically challenging to bike and carry all of my stuff. And I could really choose like when I wanted to just use human power or when I wanted to use that extra boost or get like turbo mode going. So I could kind of like tailor the physical exertion to whatever I was feeling. I know that there's a lot of misconceptions that e-bikes are, you know, cheating and that by like, you know, using an e-bike, you're essentially just riding a motorcycle. You're not putting in any effort, but I for sure still feel physically exhausted from bikepacking. I still biked 90 miles over three days. And I think that's pretty impressive, especially for a non-cyclist. This is probably not the last time I'll try bikepacking. I'm considering trying more miles next time or maybe even doing a mountain bike trail. So if you wanna see more cycling content, let me know in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, hit the like button, subscribe to the REI channel, make sure you hit the notification bell and I will see you all in the wild. I wanna finish my beer. Cheers. Right, cut. Whoa. <laughs> not, that, not that part, just the, just the first part. I'm not very good at the catching it part. I don't have a lot of coordination. Oh man, wow, now I'm really sweating. I'm like really pity. <laughs> yeah, tricks. <laughs>